Well, here we are at Jay's Sporting Goods at the Claire location. Today, we're gonna look at some compound bows. We're gonna look at a couple crossbows and kind of show you guys what's new on the market for this year. Well, when you're reviewing a women's bow, you gotta look the part. Well, the first bow we're gonna to review today is the Prime Logic. Now, to be fully transparent, this is the bow that I'm shooting this year, so I'm a little bit partial. The first time I got this bow, I pulled it out of the box, I couldn't believe the look of it. It's so much different than the normal Primes, the bows that I've come to love. It's got the longer axle to axle. Um, they're usually a, a single limb bow. This bow is completely different. Split limbs, which is new for Prime this year, um, it's a short axle to axle bow, which again, I normally am not a big fan of, but the first time that I shot this bow, kind of all my worry about the design went away. This thing shoots like every other prime that I've ever shot. It is incredibly smooth. Um, still got the parallel cams. It is a different design. It's a different style bow, but it's got a lot of those same features that Prime has had in the past. Uh, a little cosmetic thing that doesn't make a big difference, but it's got a nice matte finish on the riser. Um, and on the limbs, a lot of these bowls have a glossier finish, which I've never been a big fan of. So uh, a lot of that same technology that we've kind of come to love in these prime bows, but a completely different package. Um, short axle to axle, still got a nice brace height. All in all, even though it looks different, it's got some of the same great qualities, and I'm excited to hit the woods with it this year. Like most of the bows we're shooting in this bow review, this is another short axle bow, um, 28 inches axle to axle, but it seems like that's the, that's the theme this year is everybody's going short, uh, but you're not losing a whole lot. The Triax is a short axle, axle to axle bow. It's got six inches of brace height, but the shootability is there. It really is a smooth shooting bow. It's got these big concentric cams. Um, it's got roller guard here. Uh, it shoots very nice. The only thing I don't like about this bow is it seems a little top heavy. When I'm drawing back, it seems to be trying to pull the top limb back, the top half of the bow back, uh, more so than it is the bottom. And so it's kind of tweaks on your wrist. But once it gets back, it is a nice smooth draw. And once it gets back and you shoot it, there is no vibration there. I mean, it, there's nothing on these bows. We don't have any stabilizer or anything. And when there's no vibration to begin with, there's no vi vibration you have to take out before you start hunting with the bow. So the Triax, nice shooting bow. Um, it comes in just right around $1,000 or a touch above. And uh, it's gonna be a good hunting bow this, this fall. Next up, we have the Bowtech Realm. Now, I've never been a huge fan of Bowtech bows. Just for whatever reason, they haven't fit me very well. Um, this bow, I have to say, I feel completely different about. This thing is really comfortable to shoot. Um, as you can see, it's got a, a very similar size and stature to a lot of these flagship bows that we're seeing. Shorter axle to axle, they got bigger cams, um, shorter limbs. That's kind of where the archery, archery industry seems to be headed. Um, so this bow is kind of in line with the, the way a lot of these bows look. It's got a glossier finish I'm not a huge fan of, um, but when you shoot this thing, it's incredibly smooth to draw and it is dead in your hand when you shoot it. It is a very nice bow. Um, and I, again, saying that from a guy who hasn't been a big Bowtech fan, I think they did a great job with this bow. Short axle to axle, it's fast, 340 feet per second. Um, some things to really like about this bow and definitely would be a good option to take in the woods this fall. Well, this is the Hoyt Hyperforce. This is in their aluminum series bows. They also have carbon bows as well that are a little more upper end. Uh, this bow is gonna retail just under $1,000 or right at $1,000. This is 32 inches axle to axle, so it's a little bit longer than some of the other bows that we have in this bow review. Uh, as far as shootability, it's smooth. I like how I draw it back. Um, I really like the flat handle, the location grooves on the front to put my fingers in. Um, I really like that. And when you shoot it, it shoots very well. Um, it shoots very fast, 340 feet per second. Uh, the one thing is it feels a little like a little bit of strum, like the string is uh, vibrating after the shot. It's dead in hand, it doesn't jump at all, but there is a little strum from the string. I think as soon as you add anything to this bow, it's gonna quiet that down immensely. So a very nice shooting bow from Hoyt, once again. Well, when you're reviewing a women's bow, you gotta look the part. 
But uh, this is the Matthews Avail, and like all women's bows nowadays, these things have come a long ways. They're very shootable nowadays, very smooth. Um, this cam is just an ultra smooth cam. It's a very forgiving bow. Um, I like how it shoots, and nowadays, Women's bows are much, much better than they used to be. The only thing I don't like is there's very little adjustability in the cam. You basically have to buy your specific draw length. It can't grow with a kid. So this would be something that would have to stay in that same draw length. Well, last but not least, we're going to talk about a couple of uh, crossbows here. I don't have a ton of experience with them, but we just shot these two. You hear people talk all the time about the Raven crossbow, and it's got this narrow profile, so we wanted to shoot that. Um, and Ten Point also makes a bow that's a, a similar setup, very narrow profile, very fast. We shot that. This is the Stealth NXT. We shot that versus the Raven. Uh, pretty comparable, a couple of notable differences between the two. The Raven is a little more expensive. Um, it kind of all depends on what model you get and what you add to that. Also, the Raven has a unique feature that allows you to let the bow down without having to fire an arrow. So after an evening hunt, if you're unsuccessful, you can let that down without having to actually shoot the bow. The 10 point, uh, one selling point for this bow is that it has a silent crank. Another big advantage if you're in the woods, you don't have to crank it up, um, make that extra noise. It's completely silent when you crank the bow. Um, lastly, when it comes to these crossbows, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more in a future show, but it's important to be ethical. These bows can shoot accurate out to 80 or 100 yards. That does not mean you can hunt with them that far. They're fun to shoot, extremely accurate, extremely fast, but when you're hunting game, it's still important to make sure that you can make a clean, ethical shot. Bow season will be here before you know it, and if you're in the market for a new bow, I would highly recommend heading to an archery shop and shooting a few different models. You never know which bow might fit you the best.